Hello everyone, welcome to the problem solving track. This is Pramod from Propel School. So firstly, why do we need to work on our problem solving skills? Well, as programmers, we need to tackle new scenarios every day. Each problem is going to be different from the previous one and having a strong foundation in problem solving skills will help you develop the confidence and the ability to tackle these new situations. Secondly, programming proficiency alone is not sufficient. For example, if you are familiar with all the basic concepts in a particular programming language like arrays, strings, looping, conditionals and so on, it's not going to help you when you encounter a new situation. And that's why we need to work on our problem solving skills. Okay, so what's our day going to look like over the next couple of weeks? Well, firstly, we'll start off the day by solving some logical puzzles. Why? Well, because programming is all about coming up with the logic and then translating that logic into code that computers and other humans can understand. So logic is the foundation, forms the foundation of all the things, other things that you are going to be learning over the next couple of weeks and of course throughout your career. And then we'll work on one particular skill. We'll watch a video or maybe read some tutorials and learn a particular skill. It could be anything as simple as sorting or a particular data structure like objects or another skill like recursion and then we are going to do exercises on that skill it is like going to a gym and working on one particular muscle on that particular day and then we are going to solve problems just beyond our comfort level so that means we are going to keep raising the bar and keep solving harder and harder problems so that we get better every day so here are some problems that we have chosen and we have also given the difficulty level. So you can start off with like easy problems where the difficulty level is 2, 2.5, 3 and so on. And then you'll be moving to harder and harder problems. Okay, what else? Once you solved a problem, we'll review what went well, how we can improve and then apply the growth mindset. That means we will take lessons from this problem and then apply it to the next problem so that we can improve. Finally, we'll round off the day with a Q&A session where you can ask questions and then learn from others. Okay, so that's what our day is going to be look like. But let's dive deeper into the exact curriculum. On the first day, of course, we're going to take the pre-test. We'll watch the intro video, which are doing right now. And then most importantly, we'll find out where we currently stand. We'll find out our current level. So right now, for example, if you're able to solve problems of difficulty level 4 that means you don't have to solve problems of difficulty level 2 or 3 right because that means you're just wasting your time or at the same time you shouldn't have to solve problems with difficulty level 6 or 7 so right now if your level is 4 you need to so start solving problems with level like 4.25 or 4.5 so the first step I will give you uh, like two or three problems and then you find out what's your current level okay then the second day we'll have a video on uh, the problem solving process where I'll provide you an overview of what all goes behind the scenes or within your head when you're solving a problem. So it involves things like coming up with a plan and then verifying that the plan is correct and only then writing the code and once you start writing the code, debugging the code and then finally checking whether it works. And of course, we'll always have exercises and problems every day. Okay, so let's quickly go through the rest of the days. So day three, we'll focus only on writing the pseudocode and coming up with a clear logic. And then being the computer, we what we'll do is we'll manually execute every line of code in a piece of pen and paper just to make sure that our thinking is right. Okay, and we'll also focus on our debugging skills. Day four, we learn objects. Well, as our colleague Santu says, 50% of our problems can be solved using objects, also known as dictionaries in Python, hash maps in Java. This is probably the most important data structure after arrays. So we'll be learning more about it and diving, diving deeper into objects. Then day five, we'll focus on loop invariance and the state of the algorithm. That means well, we'll learn about it when we get there, won't we? Okay. 
and day six we'll uh, focus on decomposition that means breaking down problem into smaller problems so that we can combine all the smaller problems to eventually solve the bigger problem that we originally wanted to solve once again don't worry too much about these details it is just an overview so that you get a taste of what's of what we are going to be doing for the next couple of weeks day seven we learn sorting brute force these are some common strategies day eight we learn uh, recursion and day nine we will continue with recursion because it's a concept which does require a couple of uh, days to learn and meanwhile we'll always you know continue to work on our problem solving skills and solve harder and harder problems day 10 we are going to uh, do some life coding you know we'll do a case study we'll pick up one particular problem and see uh, how to solve it and then we'll repeat the uh, process in the next day as well and finally we'll do some uh, self preparation where each one of us will uh, solve the problems that we are finding difficult uh, at this moment and keep improving and finally we'll have the exit test so that's the plan for the next couple of weeks all the best